smackity. Lip smackity. Right. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> there it is. Let's see if they're ready. You guys ready? Oh, Scott's list is not correct. Do we have a mismatch here? Uh, yeah, we'll get it updated here in a sec. I said submit. There we go. That's it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, they're already moving now. Yep. <laughs> I said ready and then just, go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast. We're coming to you live from Gold Squadron Flight Club. This is a Saturday morning edition. We are live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're going to be jumping into it real quick. My co-host for this round is... Hey, guys. It's Tommy Adams. The one... <laughs> Thanks for letting me hop on. <laughs> the one and the only now we're going to jump into this real quick because i think steven is planning on pouncing on uh, on scott's list tommy go ahead and uh tell us the list while i open up the choose your champion poll all right on the left side here we have uh four u wings um let's see that's mine spikes list all of them are the blue squadron scouts the ps uh, the initiative twos i should say uh one of them has Leia and Perspective Co-Pilot. Another one has Jen also and also Perspective Co-Pilot. Then we have Lando on the Thord, and the fourth has nothing on him. And on the right side, we have in the XI shuttle, Commander Malavis with Proud Tradition and Agent Terex. And she's being escorted by uh, three St. Jason engineers, which are the Initiative 1 silencers fantastic so tommy i'm about to send you a direct link to the um to the overlay so that you have that and you'll have their okay. their names and everything right in front of you yeah, but the yeah. choose your champion poll is up and ready to go let us know who do you think has the advantage in this matchup you can bet your gsp points and right now we are in the race to five hundred thousand points First person of 500K gets a little prize from Gold Squadron. Ooh. Yeah. And I want to remind you guys that today our Gold Squadron Flight Club coverage is brought to you by Co-op Print Yards. Use that code GSP for 15% off. So, Tommy, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? Uh, I kind of feel like the Rebels actually do right now, just because I've seen four U wing lists do pretty good before. Uh, but I could also see the ability just to block with the the silencers could really mess up these guys too. They just have to try to get in position to block when they're not using Leia, basically. I think that they have the advantage there. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of arcs there. Obviously, you have a lot of health, you know, distributed across the different uh, the different U wings. And by the way, we're about to make sure that we get those colors um, yes updated so that you know which one is which because they they are going to end up being a little bit different points. It could end up mattering depending on which ones end up being destroyed. So you should see those coming through on your side right now. Now, one of the things with these U-Wings, while you have a lot of control of where, a lot of arc control, um, they are still only potentially, if you're using that turnaround maneuver with the wings a lot, can end up being at one agility a lot. And versus, you know, three, three attack die ship, you could burn down one of these U-Wings pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. And the ability to just flank with the tie sounds is a lot easier as well. He's gonna, uh, the U Wings is gonna have to leverage Leia pretty well to try to pounce on these TIE Silencers before they can get set up. And already the U Wing is trying to take, looks like he's trying to take the middle of the board right now yep. to try to <laughs> shut down some options. This area is my area. <laughs> yeah. Of course, he could right now just go ahead and stop and spin around right now, which would be an interesting 
trick. Yeah, I'm I'm curious, you know, to see how Steven flies this. Obviously, he brought Captain Malrus, which if you're not familiar with Captain Malrus, says while a friendly ship at range 0 to 2 performs a primary attack, if it has one or more blank results, it must gain one strain token to reroll one blank result if possible. So able to get some really consistent shots uh, with essentially double modifications, assuming that those silencers are focusing. Uh, but it is going to force them into a bit of a clump, which might actually benefit Scott in his attack pattern. Because those U-Wings, their biggest weakness when playing against double repositioners is maneuverability, right? Like they, they can be very maneuverable, but they, still, they can still be a little bit clunky. So um, you... Flying these silencers in a formation, you could possibly lose some of the some of what you're paying for, which is that double repositioning. Uh, so we'll see how Steven leverages that. Yeah, um, right here with red ties on. So I would actually probably barrel roll it to the to the to the left so that he could kind of flank on the other side. But it looks like he is he considering staying put. Maybe I guess that could give him more options. Nope, he's going to keep them all in the clump. Um, so I guess he's either going to come around the other side of the rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like the option was actually pretty good because the U-Wings are going right down the middle right now. So he's able to set up a good flank for next turn or force him to spin layer Oli to get turned around, which is also good. If so you that force was... someone to spin layer earlier than they want to, that's always a good thing. That was a Leia trigger. Uh, sorry, not Leia. A Lando trigger, by the way, is what you saw there. Oh, those yeah. two green dice. Yeah, and now it's just the U wings moving in to, to claim the middle of the board. And then there was a Jen also trigger with the prospective co pilot. And again, well, that's a, that's a nasty combo. I didn't consider that in this list <clears throat> getting a focus of eight every turn with the two most important u-wings in this list it's a lot harder to kill yeah i mean that specifically the leia one right like being being able to to yep. give that one a uh an evade is huge all right here we go we have our first attacks and party time Mm -hmm. Range three attack from Malrus going into the green U wing is going to be from range three. Malrus right now, of course, has a focus token, and it looks like they're just double checking a couple of things. Malrus' ability does work on herself. There is a blank, must reroll, blank to blank. That's going to end up being one hit, or you can hold on to the focus. And, and safe. Mm hmm About what I expected. The opening exchange there. Yep. The strain is there, by the way. It's just simply behind the ship. You can see that the U-Wings don't have any shots this turn. Could very easily get shots next turn by rotating to the left. But now the silencers are up. They'll be able to focus fire probably onto the red U-Wing this turn, all three of them. Which is the Leia carrier, so oh, that's a good time to get some damage. Exactly. Three hits. Should be able to push something through here. Oh! Not that. And not today. <laughs> All right, three evade, spend the focus. But hey, we got some tokens stripped already for the next attacks, which is good. Here's our next attack, range three. Another three on three. Evade available for the U-Wing. Malibus trickle. Blank to blank, two hits. And two evades. Okay. Steven hoping to get something out of here. You can fire at the green U-Wing unobstructed or the red one, and he's going to go yep. for the unobstructed shot. Yeah, if if red didn't have any tokens left, I probably would have went, went ahead and shot at red, but okay. having that evade is a pain. Three hits. Will he finally push something through? The answer is yes. Going to be yep. able to get two right there on the green U-Wing. <laughs> Okay.
couple of shields and open exchange is not too bad. And now the Tysanta is a good op option to either flank or, or force an Oli Leia activation. So it would be kind of like a win-win for the most part. Because they're going to reduce agility on the U-Wings mm -hmm. next turn if they decide to go that way. Yeah, now they all are stressed, so they're going to be forced into a blue maneuver, but I'm pretty sure if they wanted to, that uh, the two turn to the left and trying to hook around that rock could work. That might put their arcs in a kind of a funny position. Uh, I would suspect them to head towards the bottom of that board, but I think I think we're going to have some, uh, some good old-fashioned jousting here in a minute. <laughs> yeah. I, I could see green and yellow tie silencers just go straight and prepare to flank and maybe... Red could either bank away or turn in and say, if you're going to turn in towards me instead of rota um, doing the pivot wing, then I'll just block you. And I could see either option being a good one. There go. I'm not sure what Malice could do. Maybe just a one straight or one bank. But again, there's plenty of good options because that rock is making it hard for those U-wings to find a good way to get guns on on everybody okay now as we wait here um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the gold squadron uh, flight club championships first event happening first qualifier happening January 23rd and 24th um, Basically, you actually only need to be available for the 23rd. Uh, the 24th is the cut there to see who wins the qualifier. But what you really need is those rounds of Swiss to see what your ranking will end up being going into the championships. Now, remember, you can participate in as many qualifiers as you want. I had somebody say, Dion, is it okay if I just like sign up for a qualifier, see how I do, and then if I'm not happy, I can just sign up for the next one? And just kind of go one by one and the answer is absolutely do it do whatever it is for you it's set up that way for your guys convenience uh and again if you haven't seen those prizes uh there's there's a ton of stuff there's three participation prizes that everybody uh everybody gets as well as we have top 32 16 8 4 uh, two and final prize and like uh, and winner prizes for the championship level event. So go ahead, take a look at those. All kinds of stuff. I have. I will tell you my design for the template tray. I'm super excited for. I'm just waiting for confirmation uh, from the maker to make sure that my idea is doable. And we're going we're going back and forth on some design things. So I'll reveal it once it's once it's uh, okay okay to show. I don't want to preemptively did it, but I have like a shadow of it right now <laughs> because I'm mm. super excited about it all right do we think that these u-wings are going to give us a little spin here i could see a split like the front two could turn in the other two could turn around but then mm. that's going to make it harder to use leia so i'm i could see arguments in either case you could try to keep them together or um, maybe forced to to do both ways i'm not entirely sure yet um I would, I would possibly do that if I was flying the four U wings. I haven't flown a, a mass swarm of U wings yet to, mm -hmm. to know for sure, but that seems like a valid choice to me. Uh, people in the chat asking, can we talk about Mando now? Yes, you can talk about Mando now. I know, I know uh, that some people might not be as excited to talk about it anymore, but the whole point was simply to protect people who didn't have a chance to see it till they got to the holidays or something like that. It's open. I know there might be not be as much hype. You could talk about it now, though. <laughs> Leia has triggered, so pop, pop. at least one of them's. Yep, at least one of them's going to rotate. We'll find out here. And there we go. The tie silencers are going on the flank. At least uh, yellow and blue. We'll see what red does in a second here. Yeah, red can't pull off this two straight boost. Likely, we just have the two straight. To keep a oh. uh, to keep the arc, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's gonna do that and then uh, barrel roll to to stay behind everybody. He might Which keep also him, he might keep him behind oh, the rock yeah. just for the defense. Yeah, maybe. Um, what's also interesting here is because now that the U wings have to rotate, uh, the evade from Jin also is not going to be as useful now. 
Mm -hmm. So the focus of a combo is not going to like. It's going to be more like a reinforce almost instead mm -hmm. of just a blocking a lot of damage. And Leia's rotated. Let's see if yellow does it. Yep, yellow's going to rotate. Grimwolf03 in the chat says, Clearly from Mando, we see that Boba flies with a crew. Give Boba a crew slot back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, game, game mechanics over cannon. We got to we gotta, we gotta do that. <laughs> and it looks like yellow, I mean, sorry, green U-wing is also rotating, so blue's probably going to do it as well. Which also means that next one, they're going to have to rotate again. All right, the Lando trigger on green got double evades there. That is the the prize, right? Being able to have both evades. Mm -hmm. Of course, the problem there, you don't have any offensive modifiers, which could be a problem. Yeah. Well, he's the one that's the most damaged, too, so it's funny that he gets double evades. Right. He's guaranteeing blocking one damage twice now, so... See, I would probably still go after Leia though, even I, though you have Leia damaged. The, that's the correct choice. It is the most expensive U wing as well at 58 uh, points. Yes. And Agent Terex uh, checks a calculate over the yellow toss out. Now, since none of those silencers are currently damaged, essentially. It's making it so that Scott's probably just not going to shoot that one. It makes green the most obvious target, but you might not have all four U-Wing arcs onto it. Here we go. First shot coming from Maurice. Reroll because you have to. And focus out for two unless you are afraid of the U-Wing onslaught. I mean, if you're going to be spending, getting rid of tokens, you got to spend the focus here. Yeah, I see. Who did he shoot at? I, I didn't see the ping. So there's four dice out there. I suspect that this this is this is either red or yellow. Yeah, it's probably, probably it's probably red. red. Oh, uh, he put. Okay, oh, he's he gonna... didn't. He didn't. Wow. Yeah, he didn't spend the focus. I don't know if I agree with the move there, because I mean. Malrus is an important piece and is the most expensive thing you got, but the silencers are working are, are what is going to win you this game. Yep. Uh, right. Malice's job mainly is just to try to pass tokens and strip the opponent's tokens so that mm -hmm. the silencers can do the real damage. You see the okay, he's shooting at yellow. So the Lando U Wing is shooting at yellow Tyson. Oh, and one went right back in the token. It's going to remind them that it's minus one agility on the U-Wings. I think they may have forgotten about it. So yellow looks like he came out unscathed. All right, next shot. We're going to spend the focus there for two. Ooh, Ooh, silencer blank out there. But he's the one with all the tokens. He is. <laughs> it didn't work out. It didn't work. Next shot coming in. Two crits. Going to be able to focus out of that one. Yep, calculate comes in handy that time. Saves the focus for offense. Oh, well, we got another viewing attack, so maybe not. One hit, one crit. And we'll be able to focus out for that one. Now, quick reminder, I saw somebody ask a question about the blanks on the silencers. Just a reminder that the Malrus ability is only offensive, not defensive. But we should be able to see that Malrus trigger right now as these three silencers take their shots. It's going to be three of them going into the Leia U-Wing. Leia U-Wing only has a single evade because it spent the focus on offense. One hit, spending oh, it for nice. three. Uh, two, too many dice. Yeah, that should be. <clears throat> oh, 
hard enough to pay attention to. I should be paying attention. Chat window there. I had to re-roll all of that. There we go. They're doing it now. Okay, same result. We got it. Thank you, Isofane. All right, now we have yellow's shot. Shouldn't it have been two shields? Oh, no, he rolled and evade naturally and then spent the evade. But purple got four dice. Oh, did we? Did he still not roll? Oh, no, his obstructed. So that's um, red into Leia was obstructed. So he got two defense. And then he rolled an evade blank and spent the other evade to take only one damage. Okay. Yeah. And looks like green smacked Leia um, carrier around. So we got, what is that? A wounded pilot on yes. Leia. Yes. Wounded pilot on Leia. You got Leia all the way down to two hull. Let's go ahead and get that updated. Yep, so half points on that carrier. So that was a very good exchange overall for the false daughter here. Now, if you're not familiar what wounded pilot is, we're bringing it up there on your guys' screen. After you perform an action, roll an attack die on a hit or a crit. Gain a stress. Watch out for those actions, especially with that perceptive co-pilot. You know that they're going to be trying to focus and, and get those. So the stress wouldn't be a huge deal after the action if you're only going to be alive for only one more turn. Because with the, uh, with the pivot wing, you will be able to rotate one more time or stop one more time if you like. The problem is that they're going to be red now because the Leia trigger has already happened. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, uh, he was forced to spin Leia really early here. And he can, if he stops again, he can flip the um, pivot wing back to get his agility, but then he's going to be stressed out and, and probably facing the wrong way for the next two turns. So the the main problem the full total is going to have is trying to get his tie silencers around to where he can shoot again because i'm not quite sure he can be able to actually attack leia this turn. leia could very easily just like fall straight over top of these guys and not get shot for a couple of Mm-hmm. which is probably what i would consider doing but get get out yeah because the silencers are they have to move first Right. Mm -hmm. So use that to your advantage. Know that you can get a little bit of space here, be able to take some type of defensive action. And looking at the positioning of the silencers, they don't have any space to, for instance, 4K and be able to get shots on your next turn. So they're likely going to be disengaging. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure where yellow is going to go. You could maybe try to block with a like two turn. I, I don't maybe I, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced i do that actually i'm not sure i'm not sure what you do with yellow well um if you're not expecting uh Malos to get bumped you could just accept the, the bump of yellow and then coordinate to him at uh, initiative five or pass the calculate token to get shots i could maybe see red silence attempting a k-tone just to catch leia because mm -hmm. He, he could possibly do that. That's kind of risky if you have a lot of U-Wings looking at you. Yeah. Because um, the green U-Wing has to either... Again, you know, unless he was willing to fly over that rock. And so we already know what that one's probably going to do. Lane is probably going to run. And I could see yellow and blue just stopping it. Just so they have shots on something. Mm -hmm. They're not damaged. Yeah, you could do that for sure and especially not knowing where those silencers are going to go you have the uh by, by taking the stop maneuver you at least guarantee you know where your arcs are going to be pointed and mm -hmm. we've got in here a two bank two bank yep uh probably just debating whether or not to 
boost to reposition right now. Yep. She does. Taking the boost. No focus, so feeling pretty confident that there are not going to be any shots coming in. Yeah, even I, if yellow stops, he won't be able to shoot at. If yellow U wing won't be able to stop. Oh, okay, he did uh, take a focus. He probably declared it, but didn't put the tokens down. Right. The two straight does bump there. Well, yellow would be able to shoot him because the rotate is either 180 or 90, right? So you would you would turn to the left, and that yeah. is reactionary. Yeah, he could. Yeah, if he decides to stop, he could rotate. It just probably put him in an awkward position for next turn. Red does. silencer does end up fitting there. So now, if Ooh, nice. If Scott decides to rotate with all of them, you know he would have a couple of range one shots looking at him from the silencers. And I see one. Oh, oh, oh. Are they all stopping? They're all stopping. Yes. So Scott's got all the options. Here come the stress tokens. Nice. But looks like he's planning on just staying forward because we saw Malrus move right away. Mm-hmm. And focus and fire. Yeah, here Malrus could coordinate to yellow because yellow's the one that's damaged too, so... The next question would be to, uh, I would probably just leave yellow tie silencer where where it is and just mm -hmm. coordinate like a focus and then pass a calculate to it just so it can tank up. Looks yep, looks like he's getting ready to coordinate. Yep, he's got an option right now to give the yellow silencer some tokens. There's the focus. He could reposition if he wanted to, but right now being bumped onto red makes it so that the yellow silencer can't get shot by red at least. Yep. Which is why I'd leave him where he is, just for that fact. And is he going to Terex? Probably is just debating who he's going to Terex. I mean, I, do you just go into yellow because that's the one that's taking damage already? Do you, do you yeah, just... that's what I would do. And yep. yes. Yep. <clears throat> Malrus is going to be taking the shot into blue because that's its only option. This is going to be two on one. Must re-roll the blank. Was able to convert to two hits. And that's going to be hit crit going into the blue U-Wing, two shields down. Um, I'm pretty sure the U-Wings could have flipped the wings back the other way. Uh, they could Did have. Yes, yeah. Uh, but didn't. He probably didn't consider that. You only have to close the wings when you want to rotate. That most people don't double stop with them, which is probably why he didn't even consider it. I don't know how often he's played these U wings before to know for sure. Right. Hit crit focus. Looking at this first shot, it's gonna matter more here. And uh, with with the silencers firing, we'll we'll ask them. Able to get one shield on the red. Next shot, three hits. Ooh, couple Ooh. of blanks in there. That means hit crit sticking through. And yep. it looks like he's actually focusing focusing on uh, on red right now. The red silencer. That's a damage sensor array hanging yep. out on that red silencer. And now yellow is attacking the red silencer. Oh, Ooh. another full string. Hit hit crit. That's not good. Yeah, that's hit crit sticking again. Another face up card going out there. Still have one more attack incoming, I believe, right? Oh, yeah. And you got a panic pilot out there. That pilot's freaking out. Thanks. Yeah. Let's see if he can survive this attack, yo. The answer is no. <laughs> oh, wait, actually. 
could yeah possibly oh be, be just, just barely the, just <laughs> barely because he didn't have any mods i forgot about that i was like oh he's got focuses no no mods out there the red silencer is going to be able to limp away and gets a shot on the way out <clears throat> now he's going to be quoting brave soul robin <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Run away! Yep, a uh, shot selection order here, by the way. I would have shot with the yellow silencer first. Mm -hmm. See what you end up getting on your target on yellow and see if it makes sense to go into the yellow U-wing instead of uh, taking the range one on red right away. But just, uh, you know, if he's able to clear Leia off of here, all of that is a moot point. He's able to push in two damage, and that's all she wrote there on the red U-wing. Yeah, it's unfortunate he didn't uh, consider uh, flipping his wings here. I don't know. It could have mattered here. It could have, yeah. I'm also surprised that we didn't see the, the wing flip, but I think it might have just been a misplay on Scott's part. And when Scott watches this back, he'll he'll give himself a little face palm moment but it, because it is a <laughs> may, it's a May trigger out there, right? So. Yes. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a nice shot. Four hits. See, that was in... That should be in yellow. It's yeah. yellow or green. It's in, uh, into green. Oh, well, yeah, it makes sense because he's already damaged. Yep, and that's going to be a panic pilot onto that U-wing. Unfortunately, uh, there's no Leia carrier out there anymore, so... Uh, stress going bag. right over that rock. Yep. He's going right over that, that <laughs> rock, too. <laughs> and... Okay, so I guess, yeah, green tile silencer doesn't have a shot, so that's uh, a nasty tone right there. I would say we got one U-wing down, and another one's at half, and for an almost dead red tide silencer, another one, the yellow, is almost at half. So it's a nasty trade of that round. The main problem is what the U-wings are going to do next. Mm -hmm. Because the TIE sponsors could very easily just get behind them and reposition before the U-Wings can get toned around at time. Yep, it's time for that maneuverability on the TIE silencers to really shine here. Mm -hmm. All right, so taking a look at the chat, I saw you guys during that engagement. We're talking a little bit about what are some of the possibilities for Mando's ship in X-Wing. I will tell you I have a script running right now that I'm writing uh, to say, you know, what what I think the Razor Crest might end up looking like in X-Wing. Like, I've been working on that now for a, for a while. I've been tweaking things as we've been watching the show. But now, of course, the fact that the Razor Crest is exploded, um, the question is, will Mando get a new ship? We don't know. It's a great opportunity to get the guy a new ship. Maybe something sparkly and new. I'd kind of like him just to get another Razor Crest back, honestly. <laughs> it's it's well, possible. Give him just completely a new one. It's possible. It's possible to get another Razor Crest because it, it's it's uh, like pre pre Empire. You know, it's, it's a pre Empire ship. So mm -hmm. you know, it's it's possible to see another one. I doubt it, though. I Same. doubt it. I because I, I think like in world. It seems a little far-fetched, though I, I think one thing that would be cool is an opportunity to maybe see a Fang fighter in live action. Because you saw the the um, Bo-Katan and the Mandos there, they had access to a, a gauntlet class one that looks like a giant Fang fighter. So what if they're like, yeah. here, you go, here you go, Mando. Here's here's your, your individual, uh, you know, fighter. And maybe also end up getting some type of freighter, freighter type ship as well. But I'd like to see the guy in a, in a fighter too, you know. Uh, well, it would be nice if he had like his own version of the Ghost. There's a main freighter ship, and then it had a ship that could dock to it. That would be really cool. So you get mm. both in one. Uh, but Chilling my guy. guess is the point on it is give him a completely new ship for yeah. the season most likely what's going to happen 
Yes, but Din is not really a starfighter kind of guy. Don't tell, don't put Mando in a box. He could be a starfighter pilot if he wants to, Crazy Vulcan. I mean, you're probably right. But he sure he's got some he's skills. And he, you know. I'm pretty sure he's going to be an eyeball, though. <laughs> that, that, that's true. All right, right, right now, in the chat, real quick, what initiative do you think Mando will end up being in the Razor Crest? What's his initiative? He's a solid pilot, but I don't feel like he does anything quite fancy. Well, he did that fancy move in the clouds on the um, second episode of season two. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fancy. Like, I think in the game, I think in the game they end up giving him I-5 because he's like the main character. Yeah. And awesome. so they have some room for some of the other pilots. Which then, that's the other question. What other pilots do you get in a Razor Crest expansion? You could take the, uh, what's what's that, the droid that it's on the heist mission? I can't, I don't remember his name, unfortunately. But I would guess it would be him, and then maybe Kara Doom is my guess. Yeah, that, like, that seems makes like the one that's most capable to fly that, so. Q90. There you go. Thanks, chilling guy. Yeah, I think, and then you have a generic pilot for the third one. Just some, some Mando guy. Or they can make it like one of those engineers, like they had to take it on a test fly after they fixed it. <laughs> yeah. That could be the generic. They did that with the Colossus Stasis mechanic mm. for the fireball. So I could see him doing it like that. <laughs> I, lo I love. Like the go ahead. I'm sorry, sorry, I missed that. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. It's time to turn. Just get in arcs. You know that those U wings can't turn back at you. This could be an opportunity to maybe take a target lock, but yeah. it's gonna go gonna go for a focus. Well, he may be expecting the blue U wing to bump. Well, especially if yellow goes in for the block. Yeah. And they have a nice shot lined up right there. And. Um, brave, brave, so Robin, the red tie silencer is getting out of there. Don't blame him. <laughs> yeah, like, nope, 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 bad touch. Uh, oh, yeah, he's he, that's right, he's panic pilot, so he couldn't fix his crit, could not fix it. No damage on the rock there. And it looks like, uh, yellow, uh, sorry, green U wing is trying to catch red tie silencer from when he's fleeing. Yeah, so I'm not, not sure the arc is going to... Oh, it actually might just barely clip. Ooh. And I like this. I like this move here mm -hmm. from Scott saying, you know what? I know that I'm most likely not going to be able to catch those silencers, so I'm going to go at the shuttle, which I know I'm feeling pretty good about being able to get shots over there. So maximizing time on target now uh, when you know you can. He is not He is not opening his wings again. Yeah, yeah he, I, he did not open the wings with the U-wings again, which is unfortunate. Yeah, just as a reminder to anybody out there, those pivot <clears throat> wings, after you execute a maneuver, um, or bef uh, you or it's technically before you activate, you may flip the wings. So before you, uh, you execute your maneuvers, you could flip them back to the open position. Old Frick, thank you so much. It looks like did Mal Malus bumped. Yep, Malus okay. getting blocked there by the blue U-wing, and going to be taking a what might be a range one shot from the yellow U-wing. We'll find out here in a second. Uh, Malus, I know he can't toss it. Yeah, I didn't think it was in range. I, I might as well just give the calculate to Malus then, just because you have one shot incoming. Oh no, sorry, you have two. Yeah, yeah, yellow is shooting at Malus. So he's not okay. Never mind. Malus is not going to take a cackle for herself. Uh, no. Yes, and yes, he, he will be. Change his mind again. <laughs> okay. He changed his mind. Flippy okay. floppy. Yep. And it is a range two shot. 
Here we go. Three yeah. dice with a focus. One hit and a crit. Gonna be able to spend it. Only takes one crit. And that is a shield. And Red Tie Sancho's getting shot out the back. Yep. Was able to get two hits here. Ooh. Ooh. Red Silencer taking that last bit of damage. Clip those wings. He tried to bravely run away and it did not work. See, now green has, should have it. Yeah, he has a shot. All right, it's a range three. Wonder what those check in. Oh, those check in for Malice Revolts. Gotcha. Yeah. Three hits. Doesn't need them. <laughs> Just roll natties, you're fine. Has a focus, gonna be taking two on that U wing. See, is that should be drawing a damage card here? Oh, he did okay, remember he, the wings. <laughs> yeah, he did, forgot to flip the actual cards. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We'll let it roll. It's not a tournament. This one of those is like, I'm not going to go reminding them about triggers, yeah. but I'm not going to freak out when they realize something and, and take it back. Like it's, this is, yeah. this and is that can... casual side of the flight club. Uh, you know, our, our weekly streams here. Got got, got to give them some space to play. Yeah. And they could have said it and just not flip too. It exactly. Just so, and it looks like that U-Wings are now at half. Mm -hmm. So the only one not at half right now is yellow. Yellow holding on to them points. Being able to get rid of that red silencer is a big deal, I think, for these U-Wings. Because now, of course, you're reducing the number of shots in. It's a three-dice attack gun you don't have to deal with. And, uh, and yeah, like it's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Being able to get rid of one of those. Uh, will the green U-Wing be able to do something of note in the next couple turns? That's debatable. He will be able to do a hard turn. Being, being triple stress is bad. But what you are doing is you're drawing heat at least for a couple turns, and you can work on getting the yellow and blue U-Wing into position to possibly do some damage. Yeah, um, I could very easily see yellow and blue U-Wings rotate again because mm -hmm. they're not stressed, and they need to get turned around to try to catch something. And if I was flying the green Titan, so I would just do a one hard heal. Mm -hmm. and just get ready to shoot at somebody because um, I'm not that worried about the green U-Wing and I could just especially if they stop I'll just turn and focus and then maybe you could try to get I'm not sure what you do with the yellow tie silencer because if you try to do one hard it's going to get blocked maybe you could just do it too hard or maybe just turn around or something Try to get out of there and turn around because you have no shields left right i mean you're, you're no longer stressed so you could stop in 90 degrees visually to the right and probably be able to catch somebody maybe you at least be able to get malrus in arc yes. and she one thing we got to remember is malrus is more expensive than the silencers and we have an Agent Terex trigger, so they are ready to start moving stuff. So that is a, yep, a calculate for Malarus. Yeah, so and that's, if, the trigger here is during the system phase, roll one attack die on a hit or a crit, gain a calculate to token, otherwise gain a jam. And as an action, um, now that we're on the cyborg side of the card, you can transfer one calculate or one jam token to a ship, any ship, at range zero to three. Ooh, yellow bumped. I was surprised about that. Maybe he thought it, um, yellow would clear. Because if yellow did clear, nice maneuver. But we're talking about the the yellow silencer, right? Yes, he did a one hard with the ties on uh, the yellow silencer, which I was surprised he did. He must have assumed it was going to fit. It's my guess. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he didn't care to a block because he knew Malus would clear, so he could pass some tokens or coordinate, what have you. 
Yeah, he still has the possibility of get getting tokens, so not a huge deal. No. Let's see what his plan is whenever Malibus moves. Taking the focus barrel roll on the green silencer here. Probably just trying to get out of green's arc. Yes. Green U wings. That damage you the, the triple stressed U wing is not gonna have any shots this turn. Oh. Blue is trying blue U wing is trying to two tone over top. Not gonna have the space. Yeah, the two turn uh, the two turn doesn't fit there. Uh, little, let me give you guys a quick uh, a, a quick tip. Quick tips live here. Let me switch over to the the Patreon cam. Uh, when thinking about a two turn, one thing you can do is visualize the template off of the side of the base. You kind of draw this ninety degree angle here for hard turns. And this would end up being, that point would end up being the hash mark. So you can see from the hash mark that that would end up intersecting the base of your enemy ship. So not being able to actually fit that in there. So just a, a visualization tip there. You could look at the side and kind of try to visualize where the square would end up landing if you go off the front and the side. And would have seen that that one probably doesn't fit. All right, so Malibus is cleared and probably debating the coordinate. Maybe. Or maybe just jam some. Well, there's no one good to jam, actually. All right, so yeah, he... <clears throat> As an action of Terex, pass the Calculate over to the Yellow Tie Silence. Yep. I guess he... Um, I'm surprised that he doesn't quarter... Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, the coordinate action on, on the Silencer is red. Mm-hmm. Probably wants to do a two tone next tone to go after the yellow. I'm sorry, the green U Wing. All right, we got um, U Wing shooting now. Only one hit because no mods on that shot and able to easily evade that. Range one shot coming in from the silencer. You can go into blue or yellow. Right now, the blue one is the damage one. Already has a damage card on there. Only four health left. And yep, that's a target. Yep. Four dice. Range one with a focus. And a Malibus reroll. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty good start. That's money in the bank, baby. Four hits. You wing oh. off the table. <laughs> Dang. What the uh, first order player wants to see, though, just just nuke a ship, though, just about. Losing that U wing is going to be tough. Score currently forty eight to one hundred and twenty four. Mm -hmm. Now this next turn, I can very easily see the yellow tie solid. So just do another one hard, and because the the gen also yellow. Ewing has to go forward now because it's stressed. Mm -hmm. So you could very easily block it with either green or yellow tie silencers. Just get in the way. And then the other one can just dump uh, four attack dice into it. I would also consider just doing a K torn with the yellow tie silencer because no one's probably going to shoot you. And if they. Because the green U wing, when he does it too hard, is probably not going to have the range. And if he does, it's going to be unmodified at range three. And you also have a nice position to come in next turn after the K turn. And then the the green U wing can just be a block off this turn. I like it. I like it. Now, real quick here, I do want to say uh, Grimwolf03 in the chat, one of our mods, saying, I really like the last three videos you made getting into uh, about getting into TTS. Yes, I um, <laughs> I published a, a three-video series on all the way from, like, how to install, going from installing TTS to 
playing in a tournament, all right? Like, just going all the way through it. Uh, if you have been hesitant on getting into TTS, I know that we've been in, you know, uh, you know, coronavirus, um, not happy place for, for quite a while now. But with all the updates for TTS likely slowing down with less new releases or not knowing when the next new release was, I figured it was a good time to um, to to update some of the tutorials that were out there already because there there was already stuff out there. We had a uh, a very casual type of tutorial out that was a little bit longer in scope, but I gave a you know it was it's the new ones very concise, uh, but also detailed in taking someone step by step. Essentially, if you like half know how to use a computer, you should you should be able to figure out the TTS tutorial now. And even if you're just a little bit unsure, you might. Uh, be able to pick something up and they're all ad free as well to make it super easy for you guys you guys can pause and rewind as much as you need to not have to worry about like ads continuing to pop up during the videos um, for those tutorials you know i really should put a i should put a command in the chat for those tutorials but we got a we got a jam we got a jam pass huh i'm, I'm guessing uh he didn't want to stress malos out again I would mm -hmm. have coordinated a focus to to green, even with the stress. Uh, just because it's going to get shot at, more than likely. Unless you're trying to tempt the green you wing to shoot at Malos instead, I guess. <laughs> shoot me! Mm-hmm. Well, let's we'll see. The green may not even have a shot. Yeah, he didn't have a shot, so there's no reason to coordinate. It reminds me, um, there was one, um, I, I did like the, the TTS videos that you had done on there, was, especially that second one. It, it had some tips I didn't know about on there. Improving and your I've experience? Yes. Yeah, uh, that, that, that one, I, I tried to pack in a lot of stuff in there for, it's like small little things that could really make it a big difference. Here we go. A little bit of trail mix here. Still sneaks one through. Little by little. Takes another damage on the green U-Wing. Down to two hole. U-Wing strike back though. I wonder which which one is shooting first. Looks like Malavis is my guess because he was looking at Malavis' cod just a second ago. Yes. Yep. He shot at Malus, but Malus evaded. So easy. Two hits, and going to be able to shake one of them off. Takes the last shield on the shuttle. So those are all the shots this uh, turn. Epionic in the chat asking, <laughs> "Is lift height mentioned?" Got, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, sorry, yeah, we got shot. the silencer. We got one more. Yeah. Going for the green silencer. Only, uh, sorry, green U wing. Only two hole left. No Malris rerolls. Yep, just need a couple more hits to take that one down. So Ooh, that's possible. Hit crit. You're saying there's a chance? Yes. Yep. Boom. Green U-Wing going up in a ball of flame. This is one U-Wing versus not the whole First Order, but a good chunk of it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's one hint I wanted that to, that I wanted to add to the TTS mm -hmm. thing that I found out recently for the dot items. Um, you know how you, when you can hover over top of them and it, it, it spawns like all the tokens and stuff? Mm-hmm. If you click on the toggle mode, it actually is a click button instead of a hover option. Yep. So if you fly like a swarm of ships and stuff, you don't have an, you don't have all the options keep covering up your other dials and stuff. 
Absolutely, yeah. Tong- Tongo think- mode is absolutely massive. I don't mention that in part two of the series. That's uh, actually I'm writing part four, and it's like even, oh, even more, okay. even more <laughs> things. Because yeah, there's there's so much. And I was uh, when I was writing, I like, had this entire list. I was like, okay, I can't make a half hour video on all these little things. And it's like, all right, we'll put toggle mode in part four. Cool. Yeah. I, I didn't know if you. Um, didn't have time to mention it or something i wasn't sure so that's why i thought i'd bring it oh no, yeah now. yeah toggle mode absolutely it's, massive absolutely that's massive. that's like the most that saved me the most headache thus far mm-hmm. is having that option so looks like uh Terex gave another jam token and we got a k-ton from the uh green tie so all right nice three forward uh, sorry two forward barrel roll that guarantees that uh the u-wing can't shoot you but it looks like the yellow Ooh. silencer won't be able to get any shots and the green silencer will have to pick up the slack there yep he would have had a nice block right there if he um if he knew he was going to turn in like that oh hey look here's a jam token for you <laughs> So one of a token gone. Jam. It's like just green. Yep, just one shot from downtown here. Malverse rerolls are on. And two hits. We'll see if we get a third here. Mama, can I have another? Yes. Yes. <laughs> hit hit crit and gonna be taking two two taking shields one. down uh one shield because of the yellow oh, has the evade. evade yes evade tokens that's yep. how those work jen also doing her job and back to dials I feel like yellow has to pivot again. I mean, uh, there's no if you really want good shots, way for to, sure. <clears throat> yeah, there's no good way to like um, to flee and then come back in for a better shot. This it feels like to me this is your best option right now. Yep. Because they, if you spin around, neither of the tie silencers can really. Well, yellow may be able to get out. But green is unlikely to get out and not get shot. So, so yellow may just want to bail here around the rock just to not get shot at. So, what's nice about the pivot wing? I keep thinking of that you can also do 180 or 90. So if if June also is you and really wants to shoot some shoot at yellow it can do it it can just rotate where it needs to yeah yellow's getting out right now and with that green silencer turning in there just basically guaranteeing that you're going to have a shot taking a focus and you see Terex is yep. ready to uh, – sorry, not Terex. Malrus is ready to pass off that uh, that jam token here in a little bit. And rotating. Yep, going yep. after yellow. Going after yellow. Yellow is the injured one already, one away from half. Going to be trading no a couple of range one. We got the stop on the side shuttle. Yeah, when I saw that green stay put, I, I figured it's going to stop a bump. <clears throat> Range one. Four dice. No mods, though. Looking for at least two. Got him. Got three. Pretty good. Ooh, no tokens out there <clears throat> on that silencer? Ouch. Yeah, I, I was oh. surprised at that. Hit, hit. Could die with a double. Takes a council fire, could die this turn without any recourse. Taking that council uh, fire. The poor man's direct hit, as I like to call it. <laughs> I like that. Uh, 
safe. No, um, console file Not this time. Is your ship on fire? Yes. Is the fire hot? No, surprisingly. <laughs> Not this turn. Range one. Uh, that's pretty good. Malrus reroll, and yeah. you're getting four hits ooh, on that. Ooh, I mean, ooh. that is that's that's definitive right there. That U wing is taking half points. Shield, shield, card, card takes a council fire. Your ship is also on fire in more than one way. We got two poor man's direct hits out on the table right now. And right there, with 15 minutes left in the game, I mean, I, this is right now, we're going through the, the ceremonial killing of the U-Wing. <laughs> that's what's, that's what's mm -hmm. happening right now. Now, uh, Scott, he is entitled to saying, you know what, I want to try to get that yellow silencer. And he will, He will. there's a good chance he could. He's got to nick him one more time. The main problem is that little tiny uh, rock is right in the way. Because if you do one straight, you're landing on that. So, and the the yellow tie silencer could very easily just block him onto that rock too. I guess the ye yellow U-wing could just do it too hard away to not get blocked. Malrish trigger here. Got to calculate because oh, yes. he rolled a hit. Yeah. Okay. Yellow is just saying, um, "See you guys." Yeah, <laughs> but no, 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 no. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the disengage, holding on to those points. Yeah, I would. I would boost around that rock. Just get as much distance as you can. I can't focus. Mm. Can't fix and focus. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. No focus. He has to reposition, which is why you boost just to get distance. <laughs> no. Yeah, no focus on yellow. Yeah, it's the uh, the the afterburners. Or sorry, after thrusters. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. all the words auto thrusters. <laughs> yeah, do the bank boost. Okay, straight boost is fine too, I guess. <clears throat> it will give you more options to get around that rock next time. Oh, he's on it. He tried, but he landed. That yeah. that little one is the one you always think you're gonna clear just fine, and you land directly on it. Yeah, that's been my experience with that one. Patrick, Patrick, no, I refuse. I refuse to say that. That that should not be named. All right. <laughs> mm -mm. And the boost here. Now, he'll, he'll have a range one shot with a focus this turn. Yep. Looks like we are going for that council fire. No damage. <laughs> Range one shot here. It is unobstructed. We have a mile wrist trigger. That's going to end up being three. Two get pushed through, still one hole left. Dun, dun, dun. One life to live. See what I can do with it. Because we got another rock that's in the way here. Mm -hmm. So you have to go one straight, more likely. Yeah, and with green, with green boosting for the range one... Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to keep keep the shots on if you end up going straight. You're going to have to... Uh, I bought it to bank. And I think you can, like, 
the shot again. Well, maybe not. Two bank. Two bank boost should still catch it if it doesn't one straight, I think. I can't quite see the the whole rock here though, because somebody's sitting on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, some ship is just sitting on top of the rock for some reason. <laughs> Grim Wolf with the pickle. I agree with you, Dion. I don't like pickles. My brother loves them. He, uh, he always likes to tease a, me about it. Dude. Your brother's a monster. The monster. Yeah. He, when I was younger, he always liked to breathe. After he had pickles, he'd walk over to me and breathe on me. The pickles, the just the it's the it was terrible, uh, terrible. Yes. All right, Terex. That's trigger brothers there. for you. <clears throat> Take oh, it too hard. Boost. Let's get behind that rock. Mm-hmm. Let's see what he did with the, this silencer. Oh, okay. The one hard. Okay. You know what uh, I would have liked maneuver. to see? You know what I would have... That, that silencer's full. I would have liked to see the five straight out of that one. Just roll over the rock, oh, land in front. Yeah. And if the U-Wing goes fast enough, you it ends up in front of you. Uh, green can't boost. He's stressed. Uh, Was he stressed or is he just double strained? Oh, did I miss that? Oh, my bad. Yes. I thought it was stress strain. Oh, because Malice coordinated last time. Mm -hmm, That's yeah. why. <clears throat> Good move there. Was doing that. Okay, so yeah. Yellow has decided to turn away. The yellow U-Wing has decided to turn away. To reset. Instead. And actually, he has a good option to, to pivot wing again. And probably only have green shoot at him. Just and rotate and... Get a shot at least on the green Tyson, so and maybe on yellow. But yellow may just piecing out again. Don't eat the dice. As have we considered changing the strain tokens to differentiate them from stress? I mean, I, I see, I see you. I see you. We could make. I could actually change the skin a little bit to to differentiate it. Maybe alter the oh. color a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe just change the outline, the outline edge of it, to, to be different. Mm, that's a good idea. Like instead of being a black border, make it like a different color. Just. True that. All right. Next turn, just going around. Ooh, I like Crazy Vulcan's idea. Invoke the colors. Oh, he, okay. Yellow is just... Ewing's just running away. Cause he's trying to reset back around that rock. Probably because he didn't want to joust Malibus coming in. This makes sense. Yep. I mean, at this point, this is this is all formality. Let's let's, yeah. let's be honest. Like they they they're gonna converge here in a in a little bit, and you just gotta you gotta breathe on that U wing the right way, and it's gonna be <laughs> headed off the table. Well, probably doing like the tournament thing of where you're just trying to either save as much points as you can, or just try to kill as much as you can before. To get so those points. I, I look at I look at these type of scrimmage uh, these type of scrimmage games as um, system open style games where MOV doesn't matter right it's just get the W yeah. you just go hard you you are in there to be more aggressive you're choosing violins all the time choose violins yes <laughs> win <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. We saw that roll there. So what he's... What is he debating next? Because this is the time now to try to set up locks if you can. I think what I... I think... 
Uh, so what Steve is trying to do, he's trying to bring in both silencers at the same time so that you have yep. two opportunities for attack, especially the fact that the U-Wing is initiative two. Oh. So it could end up... Uh... Okay, the U... <laughs> Somebody says, or the U-Wing just leaves. I mean, he's got the pivot wing. If Scott does fly off the board on purpose, that's his prerogative, but he should have just called the game if he was going to do that. <laughs> we will... Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see if, if Scott goes out on his own terms or if he's flipping around to end in a blaze of glory. There's a Terex roll. We'll get a calculate over there. Silencer's coming in. Can you hear in. me now? Yes, there he is. We lost you for a second. Uh, thank you, Epionic, for posting in chat that you know me. I, for some reason, it always seems to drop on me like that, so thank you. Well, well <laughs> you're back. You're back. All right. Um, as I was trying to say... I, I like what the U-Ring did here because by going into the corner, it allows you to see where the full sort of commits and you can rotate to meet them, mm -hmm. which is what he's doing here. If he did it too hard up, he would have committed coming around that flank. That's right, because you can you can react with choosing either the 90 or the 180 degrees um, when, yep. it's, when it's your turn because you get to see those initiative ones move first. All right, give me one moment while I sneeze. Bless you. Only you heard that. You're welcome, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I, I totally see green. Well, okay, here we go. I mean, the green silencer is un unhurt. It's completely yeah. untouched. It's time right. for oh, some I see zoom what zoom. happened. Uh, Mallow is coordinated. Oh, um, we might, yeah. we might get the shot right here. That's what I had missed because when I saw that uh, yellow had boosted, it, he oh, boosted for the shot. That's the ball Ooh. game. That's nice. the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. One damage sneaks it through on the corner of the base. Good game. Good game and good move there um, with the full struggle. Yeah, even though he's putting the cards on the wrong ship, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Well, thank you so much to Scott and Steven for playing. Let me let them... Oh, triggered me. Don't do this. <laughs> uh, boo your dice stats. <laughs> How dare you... That's, that's the fastest way to trigger me. End the game. Dice stats. No. Stop it. Fly better. <laughs> Fly better. Stop with your dice stats. Ugh. <laughs> well, uh, right. thanks for letting me hop on, Dion, to host. Yeah, man. No problem. Thank I'm you, thank you so thing. much for, for hanging <laughs> out with me. Uh. We're going to give a quick shout out. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, so the best way to say this now that I got it stumped. Um, I run the uh, XPT events, the X-Wing Vassal Tournament. So if you guys maybe play on Vassal as well as TTS, I run events for that on there. Um, mm -hmm. I can post the link or whatever in the group Discord, the Gold Squadron Discord or stuff. But we're currently halfway through the season right now. And then after that one, we're going to have another event. I don't know what it is yet. I'll figure it out when that happens. But hopefully you guys can join in that too at some point. Yep. Crazy Vulcan in the chat saying, me and Eric have agreed to disagree about keeping them. Take the dice stats out of TTS. It <laughs> doesn't make any sense. They're not differentiated between council fires. Any, There's so many things you roll for. They don't make sense. Kill him with fire. Well, maybe, 
Okay, Flipster. Maybe it's Flip, if, is it Flipster saying don't take it out? Flipster. Fam. Somebody clip this and send it to him. It doesn't make sense with the game. Just take it out. Take it out. Uh all right. If somebody what wants, if somebody loves their, sorry, Tommy, I gotta finish my rant. Okay. If somebody likes dice stats so much, let them take it themselves and make a tally. That will be more accurate than what this gives. I love you. That's it. Rant over. All right. Let's go. Um, <laughs> as I was going to say, maybe it could be it only shows the player who spawns it instead of the entire player chat. So, like, if the opponent doesn't want to see it. They don't have to see it. Or oh, someone's up, uh, spectating, they can't see it. It's only the person who actually summons the dice to stats sees it. Yeah, that could be I cool. I don't know if that's possible or not. But. Yeah. <laughs>